Shots to the Extreme Chef, back in the kitchen. If you've been following my blog lately, you know I kind of messed up my arm. So today's Valentine's Day, need a little extra help in the kitchen. Got my friend Steph coming through to help me out. We're going to do a little quick tip for you. Super easy creme brulee. You do this for anybody, they'll be super impressed. Let's get it done. To set it all off, we're just going to preheat the oven to 300 degrees and whip these ingredients together. Steph, if I could please get you to uh, get the yolks from these three eggs and put them in the bowl, that would be awesome. No problem. So, Steph, um, what kind of Valentine's Day things do you remember? What's, what's the most extreme Valentine's Day thing someone's ever done for you? You'd be surprised. I haven't had a Valentine's Day in a long time. Really? Yeah. Come on. Shit, I'm going to get in trouble for that. <laughs> <laughs> we got our egg yolks in the bowl. Steph, if you could please put um, a cup of sugar all right, now while she's whisking that up, I'm going to pour a cup and a half of cream. We want to add a little bit of vanilla to it. So I got this fresh vanilla bean from Madagascar. If you don't have vanilla beans, it's all good. Just use vanilla extract, about a tablespoon or so. You get all the inside there. There's all the nice little seeds. That's where all the flavor comes from. Just want to scrape it with a knife. See like that? Perfect. Just want to add it to your cream. I'm just going to warm up this cream, get the vanilla in there. Uh, if you could help me pour it in, that'd be awesome. So it's going to heat up real quickly. And uh, once it's almost to a boil, you just start seeing the sides sort of start to simmer, ready to take it off. And we're just going to pour it into our yolk and sugar mixture. We're almost there. Our cream is nice and heated right now, almost to a boil. Steph, I can get you to come over and just uh, sort of we'll pour it in slowly. Now you want to be gentle with it. You don't want to whisk it like crazy or it's going to aerate it too much and cause too many bubbles. So what we're making right now is sort of like a custard. Uh, you want to be real gentle with it. We've stirred everything up. We're just going to strain it out just to get all those little pieces of vanilla. Now we did a good job. There's not even any bubbles on there. Yeah, it looks really Perfect. nice. We got the ramekins in our dish. We're just going to fill it up with a little bit of water, about halfway up. So you want to fill it up with hot water. The hot water is just going to get the Creme brulee is cooking a little bit quicker. Let's get it in the oven. 35, 40 minutes later, we're almost there. Creme brulees are out of the oven. I'm just going to pop them in the fridge for about four hours, let them cool, finish them off, and we're done. It's been about four hours. The creme brulees have had a chance to chill out in the fridge. Let's go grab them, finish this off. So now the creme brulee have had a chance to thicken up. It's nice and custard consistency, good to go. I'm just going to dust the top with a nice amount of sugar. To finish this off, to caramelize the sugars, usually we use a blowtorch. I got one right here. If you don't have one, just turn your boiler on to 500. Keep your eye on it. It's going to take about, you know, Five minutes or so. Maybe Gotta make guess. sure it doesn't burn. Yeah. It's a pretty good guess, I would <laughs> say so. You ready to get extreme? For sure. Here at Extreme Chef, we don't really mess around. Take things out back and we'll see you there. At Extreme Chef, this is how we caramelize creme brulee. Got the 151. So that's it. We torched it up with the 151 Extreme Chef Styles. Try this out on Valentine's Day. I want to thank Steph for coming through, helping me out. Really appreciate it. If this doesn't help you get some on Valentine's Day, then comment on the blog. And if you do get some, comment on the blog. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day.